Hey, what's going on guys? My name is CarQ and today we're updating the old 2018 May video with more matchup tips and tricks with special guest, Rady. Hey, my name is Rady and I'm a 4.6k peak May specialist. I was also the DPS player for Team Germany at the 2019 Overwatch World Cup. So let's start off with the general tip first. The general tip I have for May is for freeze combo fundamentals to maximize your DPS and get as much value out of her. Fully frozen target stands still for 1.5 seconds. So the first combo is to freeze, then follow up with two shots for maximum damage. This is good for tanks, but against 200 HP targets, you usually only need a single freeze into headshot or a freeze into a headshot plus melee if they receive a tiny bit of healing. The second is to freeze, then immediately use your blizzard. You don't have to use additional primary fire ammo if you immediately ult as soon as they are frozen. They will be stuck and unable to play the game for over 7.5 seconds. The last combo is to utilize the freeze and reload. Sometimes you'll find yourself in situations where you can't confirm a kill and you're low on ammo. So you can use the duration of the freeze to give you a window to reload and go again. And with that, let's get started. Against D.Va, the goal is to always open with primary fire if she's in range, since she can't matrix it. Always get into the habit of rotating in front of her during the freeze, since her head hitbox is in the front. When D.Va uses her bomb, you can either use your wall to block the line of sight, or use your ice block, which saves both you and potential teammates, as long as you are between them. Against Arisa, you typically want to wall to split or isolate her as first priority. If that's not possible, use your wall to force Orisa's cooldowns. For example, you can even wall her above her shield and it will almost guarantee her to use Fortify. Additionally, if you are engaging and anticipate an enemy combo such as Pull Dragon or Pull Fire Strike, it's very important to use your wall to block the pull itself since this ruins the combo. Finally, the wall can be used against the supercharger to stop the buff or for your friendly supercharger to protect it. Against Ryan, it sounds like a silly simple tip, but all you need to do is hold your primary fire against him. What this does is fully stop him from engaging and forces him to become a walking shield bot. Because the moment he tries to fire strike or engage, he's frozen. He tries to charge, he's frozen. He can however shatter you before being frozen, but that's where you can use both your ice block or your wall to stop it. Against Rodok in the 1v1, use your ice block reactively against this hook and keep it simple with the freeze plus two shot combo as mentioned in the general tip. The most important thing you can do for your teammate however, is to use your wall reactively to save any hook teammates. This was one of the reasons why Mei was slowly becoming meta as early as the hog Risa meta, since she could reliably stop teammates from getting picked off. Against Sigma, you can actually burst all 400 of his HP if you catch him with a full freeze. Check this math out. It takes 30 rounds of ammo to pull off a freeze. Each round does 2.75 damage, so you do around 82.5 damage before they're frozen. Then you double headshot them, which does 150 plus 150, which is 300, then follow up with a melee for 30. Total damage is 412.5. In general though, you want to walk past the shield when possible and pull off the combo as mentioned, along with just freezing him if he uses his kinetic grasps since he can't stop you. Against Winston, Mei's positioning is a very important factor in dealing with Winston and Dive. You simply hold your primary fire down when he uses bubble. Some of your ammo will begin freezing him, even if he bubble dances as opposed to gambling on hitting icicles. The primary fire freeze into ultimate is a guaranteed way to solo kill a Winston, even if he uses primal since he's frozen for 7.5 seconds. Against Ball, he can escape your freeze sequence as long as he has grapple. So once again, the freeze into ultimate can be a situational combo to lock him into place and finish him. If you use your ice wall to wall yourself up during Ball's pile driver, you will still be pulled. However, if you stand on the edge of your wall, on the opposite side of the pile driver, you will no longer be affected. You can use this sequence to help break some of Ball's minds. Against Zarya, the same tip against Sigma applies here after her personal bubble is on cooldown since both have 400 HP. Against a Graviton Surge, you can use your wall to lift you and your teammates upwards to both allow you to strafe a little bit. Alternatively, you can just wall in front so it acts like a shield to prevent head-on follow-up damage. Against Ash, if she uses Coach Gun and you are in range, just freeze and headshot combo. At mid-range to long range, I would recommend just take the duel. She's not Widow or Hanzo with a one-shot on you. She's easy to hit when she's scoped in. Against Bastion, the best step is to always use the rotated vertical wall to lift the Bastion up to a vulnerable position above the shields. 
I would not recommend using the horizontal wall because it's a lot harder to accurately place it. If you miss, Bastion can break one of the pillars and can shoot you when compared to a vertical wall. Even if you completely mess up, Bastion still has to go through multiple pillars and it would usually force him to reposition. Against Doom, you usually want to wall as Meteor Strike so that you and your teammates are on the opposite side to completely negate the damage. Sometimes this is a bit risky because if you miss, you may wall in your teammate to his death. Sometimes the safer option is to just wall up where Doom is going to land, so it will do reduced damage but at least won't one-shot any squishies. Ice block works similarly where if you block the line of sight of the ultimate, any teammates behind won't be damaged. Here's a fun fact, there's a sweet spot in the direct center of his ultimate where if you ice block perfectly, absolutely nobody will take any damage around him, but it's hard to pull it off reliably. Against Genji, he's an easy kill close up because he can't deflect your freeze. Additionally, if you ever hear or see him deflect in your face the moment you use Blizzard, quickly make a 180 degree turn and look down to avoid it. The general matchup against Hanzo is unfavorable since he can one shot you and won't play in your freeze range unless he's a bot. Against his Dragon Strike, you can use your wall to lift you and your teammates over it, or if you catch him channeling it, you can use wall under him to offset his aim. Against Junkrat, you can use your wall to break yourself and your teammate out of his traps. Additionally, Mace Old actually freezes Riptire and does a perfect 100 damage. I wouldn't recommend trading Mace Old for Riptire by any means, but it's still cool to know. But be careful because Junkrat can still detonate his tire even if it's frozen. Against McCree, the matchup is all dependent on his flashbang. Because if he hits it, you're dead. So you want to bail out his flashbang with your ice block. If he doesn't fall for the bait, end your ice block a little earlier to throw off his timing and immediately wall to create some separation. Against this high noon, simply use ice block for yourself and any teammate behind you, or wall him off. The May 1v1 is all about who freezes the other May first. If you use ice block first, you're usually going to lose, because the enemy May will just hold a freeze so they can get you the moment you come out. One way to counteract this and surprise them is to jump strafe immediately out, throwing off the aim which will give you a better chance to retake the freeze wall. Against Pharah, Mei doesn't have any damage drop off on her icicles, so if there's no one else to shoot, you can try aiming at her legs, because they usually dip up and down when trying to control their jet fuel. Against a rocket barrage, use your wall immediately to protect your team, since it's basically acting like another shield. Against Reaper, your primary fire freeze actually outranges his death blossom, so if he's not ulting you directly, stay in a safe range and freeze him to cancel the ability. Against Soldier, the tip from the older May video is still the best, where you can freeze the Soldier before he's able to kill you with his tactical visor. Outside of his ult, not much to say. From a distance, just poke him with your Icicle, and if up close, freeze combo into Icicle. Against Sombra, you can hold your primary fire around to spy check, which is basically dealing any damage to her to force her out of invisibility. Against the EMP, you can use both your wall and your ice block to block line of sight for you and your teammates. Against Symmetra, if she ever uses a teleporter sentry bomb combo, you can wall her to stop the turret damage and give you some breathing room to break the teeth. Be careful when keeping your wall up for too long against Symmetra, because she can build up her beam charge against it, but cannot against your ice block. Against Torm, you can wall off his turret to completely stop it, even if it's not fully accurate. You can see how it's just frozen here when part of it is sticking out. Additionally, if he uses his molten core, you can wall yourself up to quickly walk over it in a pinch, but be quick because your wall will melt. Against Tracer, you have that one-shot capability of 150 damage Icicle Headshot. Against the Pulse Bomb, you can obviously Ice Block it yourself, but if she misses it and it's on the ground, you can wall it off completely. Against Widow, in general you want to avoid 1v1s unless you're behind a shield. Depending on the map, one thing you can do is wall off a potential grapple spot and stopping her from getting into an ideal position. Against Anna, you can use your ice block to reactively stop her sleeping or cleanse her antenate effect. To help your teammates, you can use your ice block on top of their sleeping body to protect them or wall them up as well for good measure. Against Baptiste, the most useful thing by far is to use your wall to block the immortality field. You either wall it off entirely or wall the lamp itself, but the golden part in the middle needs to be touching the wall. This is very useful in a 1v1, because if he uses it, normally you would have to waste time shooting 3 icicles to kill it, before finally finishing off compared to just quickly walling then killing him. 
Fun fact, your ice block can actually block the lamp line of sight for both friendlies and enemies. Against Brick, just pressure shield and break it after 3 icicles. At close range, the standard freeze into double headshot can kill her. However, if she uses Rally, the combo no longer works because she's constantly regaining her armor and probably has her Inspire passive up. Just run and kite until it's over. Against Lucio, use your wall to deny common boob locations. If you do get boobed, in some situations you may have time to quickly throw down a vertical wall to save yourself and potential teammates. And again, just like in the last video, use your ice block or wall to block the sound barriers line of sight. Against Mercy, it's actually pretty hard to freeze her to stop the res, so you're better off destroying the killer with icicles instead. It's important to note that your wall will not block the line of sight or push her far enough. Additionally, try to track the Mercy's movement pattern and you can wall off one of her guardian angel targets to cut her off and punish her. Against Moira, if she uses Coalescence, it's your priority to chase her down and freeze her. She cannot fail all of it, and if you're able to get in range for a bit of your primary fire, the slow will be enough to allow you to catch up and freeze her. Against Zen, you can use your wall to block the Transcendence Light of Sight. Besides the cool interaction, respect this Discord up if you're being focused. And other than that, just walk up and freeze him and kill him. And that's it for this updated May video. Thank you all so much for continuing to support the series, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for having me, Karku, and you can find me at twitch.tv slash ready underscore OW.